Hello, my name is Nadia Kim. Hi, I'm Yulia Dukic. First of all, we would like uh, to thank the organizers of the Information is Beautiful Awards. We are pleased to have uh, the opportunity to share our work. Uh, we thank uh, the jury for their interest in our project, Shades of Darkness, and uh, we are really happy to share the shortlist with such a great projects. It's important uh, for us to be able to actualize the topic of the war in Ukraine. The distribution of roles in our pair is quite simple. I was uh, responsible for the information and Nadia was responsible for beautiful. <laughs> Uh, but more than being happy to be here with you today, uh, we would be happy not to have such a reason to create this project. On October 10, last year, Russia began shelling Ukrainian energy infrastructure. The first massive missile attack left millions of Ukrainians without electricity and often without water, heating, and communication. And with each new wave of missiles and drones, blackout schedules became stricter and longer. And this story actually, as it's quite often with data journalist uh, projects, is a bit personal, uh, just because my apartment became like a stone cave without electricity. No heating, no water, no internet connection, uh, no possibility to cook or to get the elevator to my now really hated 20th floor. My 22nd floor. <laughs> And for some kind of, fine, of fun, I started uh, to visualize data from my smart home devices about each power outage. I tried to count how many hours a day my family spent without electricity. But the situation differed in different areas of the city. Some areas uh, had no electricity for several days in a row. Others were more fortunate uh, not to have electricity for a few hours a day. And we realized that by obtaining uh, data from different areas, uh, we could estimate the extent of blackout uh, and find what was the darkest period of that time. Uh, so closer to the new year, we addressed our readers and asked them to share with us uh, data on power outages in their houses. Uh, we actually used almost everything. Uh, uh, alarm alerts, uh, different smart home devices, and even information from the router about loss of connection to the network. Uh, we added to these open online boards uh, created by IT specialists uh, for their own residential complexes. Uh, with that online boards, uh, they actually got notification about every power outage and restoration, which helped them even if they were away from their houses to know if uh, there is a chance that their food in fridge would be lost or, for example, if they have to hurry back home to catch the elevator <laughs> while it's still working. Uh, actually, most of both were created in Telegram. It's a popular messaging app in Ukraine. The, I think one of few advantages of which is that it's quite easy to download the data from it. And on New Year's Eve, everyone bought uh, battery-powered Christmas lights. And I, together with Google Sheet and R, tried uh, to get together all that collected data from different sources. Yeah, and uh, I would love to tell you about a long and exciting journey uh, of creating the final uh, graphic, but the, the truth is it was quick. Uh, 
we uh, almost immediately decided on the type of the graphic because it was uh, um, quite common visual representation in Ukrainian uh, social media at that moment. Uh, this is what very popular air alert uh, charts by Vladimir Agafonkin look like. Here, the lead co color uh, indicates the periods uh, of air uh, alerts in terms of uh, hours uh, per day. In this case, you can see information about Kyiv, but uh, such uh, charts are created for each city in Ukraine. And uh, this uh, is official schedule of uh, power outages, which uh, um, probably every Ukrainian uh, has uh, seen and read carefully uh, last uh, winter. As you can see, it is uh, uh, also a similar type of uh, data presentation. Here, uh, the days of the week uh, are vertically arranged and the time of day are horizontally arranged. And uh, different icons indicate uh, three stages. Uh, there is light, there is definitely no light, and there is probably no light. Uh, such charts uh, were even more popular than weather forecasts last winter. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Uh, so, Yula generated uh, this uh, heat map in uh, our uh, first the x axis was for time of day, y axis uh, was uh, for days, and uh, on the right, color saturation corresponds to the percentage of uh, time without light during the day. Uh, initially, I planned to uh, play on the context and uh, use colors uh, to simulate the light uh, in uh, the house. This is one of the first draft. draft. Uh, however, our data was not binary. Uh, and uh, this is what made them qualitatively different. Uh, we had an opportunity to look at aggregate of outages, keeping a value of each residential complex, and it was worth showing. Uh, so we added uh, transparency to the rectangles, uh, and uh, they initially uh, formed a pattern. Uh, this is what uh, they uh, looked like. Uh, I rotate uh, the scale uh, to emphasize not so much the time without uh, light during the day as uh, the development of the phenomenon over time. Uh, uh, to accentuate uh, the correlation between uh, massive shelling of uh, energy infrastructure, infrastructure and duration, of uh, outages, I added uh, the time of these shellings on the chart, highlighting them in red. Almost a year has passed since uh, the publication of this project. Uh, but as winter approaches, uh, its relevance is only growing. We don't know if Russia will resume its terrorist attacks on Ukrainian uh, energetic, uh, energy infrastructure. But we in Ukraine are ready for everything. At home, we have power banks, thermoses uh, and tourist burners. And we have a stove and firewood in our house in the countryside. Uh, and in our newsroom, we have charging station and are ready to collect the data again. Since spring 2022, most of uh, our uh, data journalism projects uh, have been covering the war and uh, um, Russian terror against civilians. Uh, but we sincerely hope that soon uh, Ukrainian light will win in uh, uh, every sense. And we will uh, be able to uh, share and enjoy the beauty of uh, diverse uh, peacetime data again. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.